Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick from uh, What I'm Watching, and uh, today I wanted to make a video. This really isn't a review, it's just uh, talking about uh, film in general. Um, I recently watched uh, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. It's a, a silent film, a German silent film that came out in like 1920 or something like that. But basically, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's like pretty famous and uh, it, uh, you know, it's considered a film classic, and uh, if you ever went to film school or like a, you know, at a university or something like that, it's pretty much basic curriculum. They make you watch that film, um, and uh, it really the reason I watched it is, is I feel like everything is so hyped up and everything is so super uh, effects up. You know what I'm saying that. Uh, you know, it's overkill, you know, sometimes, and uh, I think we're spoiled. Like, uh, the new Mad Max movie came out, and everyone, you know, either they loved it or hated it, but people complained so much about it, when look how much money and effects and just over-the-top, in-your-face, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's it was, you know, a lot, and uh, but still, that wasn't satisfactory to some people. They wanted more, and it's like, like damn, you know, everybody wants more and more and more and expects, you know, these things to go through the roof so you know but I don't think that's what cinema is always uh, what it's about you know so I wanted to watch something stripped down and as minimalist as possible see if it entertained me and because I couldn't really remember it from watching it back in film school well uh, I watched it and it was a really good story and uh, they did so much with so little and I mean yeah it was kind of like a play being filmed you know but it's like one of the first films ever made so you gotta you know one of the first uh recognized films i guess i'm sure there's other stuff made before that but you know, it was a silent film and it was uh in the beginning and these guys really told uh it was a horror movie in, the, in every sense of the word and it had a cool little twist ending and all that but if you haven't seen it the cabin dr caligari just check it out but uh you know it just got me thinking that uh you know, everything is just so in your face and just so, you know, and I like that stuff. Don't get me wrong. I like the effects and I love all that stuff, but uh, I'm also really big on story and I don't want that to be something that disappears from cinema today. So, uh, you know, I don't know, or maybe I'm just weird. But yeah, so I went back and watched it and uh, it did me some good, you know, and I've been watching a lot more uh, classic films, older films, because I think uh, will learn I will learn something from watching them you know especially if I want to go forth and make movies or, or if I want to just in my understanding of film all all together I think you know studying these films from the past will help uh, you know the way I look at things in the present but uh, anyway it was fun either way it goes to step back and watch it but uh, uh, it just made me think of independent film too because uh, you know these guys do so much with so little you know, making these movies for a thousand dollars or you know under five grand you know I mean putting out some badass stuff and uh you know and I guess it's like the guys that made Doc Cabin of Dr. Caligari were kind of like the indie filmmakers back then you know so um, you know it's just interesting you know just to see how different people tell stories and uh, with little money and just different creative aspects and Mm, looking back how they did it back then in 1920 it was so impressive then that uh those people were so far ahead of their time that uh you know but i think there's stuff that are in that that could be applied to today's films so maybe i'm just talking nonsense but i felt like i needed to make a video and share this thought with you so anyway nick with what i'm watching thanks for listening guys later